the left. So They're behind there. the town hall. Troops, I saw a barrier. Today, we'll be talking about update 30 for Foxhole. Welcome to hell, everyone. Welcome to the Dead Harvest update. But first of all, let's get the non-dead things out of the way first. A new feature is that shipping containers now have color customization options. You can choose from one of seven colors. And let's be honest, everyone's gonna make the explosives red. Some gameplay changes include Cranes can now be built near any town hall or fort, just like a construction vehicle. If a player dies and their home base is out of soldier supplies, they now have the option of spawning at the nearest available home base within the same region, rather than having to backtrack regions or go back to the home region. Crude oil can now be stockpiled at refineries. The freighter now has an extra seat, the passenger seat. XP is now granted when you're using the harvester. Flatbed truck can now be stored at storage depots, much like regular trucks and other vehicles. Operation stockpile no longer restricts access after it becomes active. It only restricts the access when another operation is scheduled. Construction vehicles can now be claimed by the opposite faction again. Soldier supplies can't be retrieved from a stockpile if there are less than 100 available in that current stockpile. AT mines can no longer be placed in the border no-build areas, just like any other structure. All existing saved personnel spawn points are now cleared when traveling from the home region to the world. Items that get dropped on the ground are now placed into a nearby stash when they are dropped instead of being individually placed. Now I'll speak up about this. As a scavenger myself, it's gonna be a little tougher going forward, but you should note that this has been done purely for performance reasons. Any mortar ammo type can now be fired from an emplacement house, and the world will now reset to a minimal layout when resistance phase begins. Note that this is temporary and mostly done for the accessibility of new players between wars. Some game balances include landing ship health has been increased by 25% and frontier bases are now buildable with hammers. Other changes include structure icons are now rendered on the HUD minimap for vehicle drivers so that way you know exactly which exit to take off the main roads. Stockpiles now show all stocked items on the minimap tooltip instead of a limited list. Vehicle count for storage depots are now also shown on the minimap tooltip. Tech parts at salvage and component mines are now shown on the minimap tooltip as well. Lastly, players are now notified when their backpack is full while gathering resources. There were some bug fixes along with this update, but I'll save that for the patch notes down below. Wait. What was that noise? We we got SMGs. Welcome to Hell Troopers. Welcome to Dead Harvest. This year, the occurrence is known as the Dead Harvest Deception. What does this mean? Well, for the soldiers, it means pretty much the same as it always does. You will pick a faction, warden or colonial. However, if you die, there is a small chance that you will be turned into an undead. If you are killed by an undead, there is a much higher chance of you becoming undead. Now, our priests have engineered these carved totems. If you equip these and place them on your character's inventory, you won't be forced into a state of undead. Simple as that. 
the undead come in many phases, each one getting stronger as they claim more human souls. One level is granted for every kill of the undead, and at levels 10 and 20, the undead will evolve. However, if you stop an undead, or if they are killed, all levels will be lost and reset. The basic undead is known as the Cursed. It's got low health, speed, and attack damage, but it gets progressively stronger and faster, but it does have a low progression level. The next level up is the Fast Undead, or the Avartak. Very fast. It does a little bit more damage than the Cursed, and the speed increases with every kill. These guys are fast. Don't expect to outrun them with a vehicle. And lastly, the final form is a strong undead, or the Baylor spawn. It has high damage and health, and gains attack damage and armor with each kill at the cost of speed. These guys are a battle tank onto themselves. During the war, the Wardens and the Colonials will fight over the regions as per normal. However, there is one condition. The undead can inflict what is known as Endless Night by attacking forts across the different regions. Triggering the Endless Night will buff all undead, and as well, neither the Wardens nor Colonials will be able to claim a victory. Can't exactly conquer a territory if it's full of zombies. Also, any fort that isn't claimed by either Wardens or Colonials at night will automatically become cursed. In this case, Wardens and Colonials will have to work together to push the undead back, and uh, settle their differences later. As for the living, main logistics towns are safe. They are protected by a magical ward that will kill any undead that try to enter. Additionally, as I mentioned earlier, those carved totems will keep you alive, so you can also construct them at the factories. There's also a special relic that's been seen on the maps. The Centurion. They're scattered throughout the world, hidden in snowdrifts and in the dirt. They will appear sporadically, and in different locations each time, so grab your binoculars and grab your hammers and start digging them up. Now the Centurion has a crew of five soldiers. Two independent HMGs on either side, one full frontal cannon, a driver, and a commander seat. It consumes light tank ammo, and has the ability to cleanse the undead, meaning that undead killed will be brought back to humans. And remember, if you like what you saw in this video, like, subscribe, and share it with all the other totally not zombies out there. Dark times are upon us, comrades. Conserve your ammo and aim for the head. And as always, good luck, keep your heads down, and stay in your foxholes. Bear out. Oh mighty Panzer of the Lake, what is your advice? So, is that a maybe?